Hey, what's up, you guys? It's DCyphers1935, and I've got a brand new review for you guys, and it's going to be up by Gemini Jets, 1400 scale, United Express, uh, Saab 340B. Now, this aircraft is my first Saab 340B in my collection, and I'm very happy to add it into my collection. As you can see, it's quite a small aircraft. You can see that the tail fins on this aircraft, if I do a, a focus for you guys, you can see that they're quite up high, and it's a very, it's a very small aircraft. Um, so, yeah. Uh, before I do get started with the review, though, I just want to say at the end of this video, I will be doing a quick update, uh, mainly about my model airport, and I'll just will be telling you guys exactly why I haven't been uh, uploading any up airport update for my model airport, and um, yeah, uh, mainly the reason is because I've changed my location of the model airport, um, and it's going to be a combination of a whole different um, type of airport, so. Uh, I'll go into it later in the end of this video, but um, yeah. So if, just stick around for the for the entire video, or you can skip to the end to uh, if you guys want to know exactly um, some information about where my model airport's gonna be, and um, yeah, just some m some more info about it. So uh, let's get started with the model. Um, first, let's get started with the box. Uh, so you have Saab 340 right there, uh, Saab 340B, and then you've got United um, new colors. Um, the new post merger, the new post merger livery colors um, for United. The United logo on every United box is going to be in the new post, the, the new post merger livery. But the actual model is of it. Obviously, as you can see, it's in the Bluetooth livery. Um, truthfully, I don't really mind. The only type of aircraft that I usually wouldn't get is um, either if it's an outdated livery that you don't see anymore, or if it's an anniversary livery. But um, for a Bluetooth livery, I still see plenty of United Bluetooth liveries um, flying around the entire globe. Uh, especially, I, I did see a few United 74s when I took a trip to Australia um, in the Bluetooth livery. I've seen a United Triple and 74 here in London Heathrow. So um, there's definitely plenty of Bluetooth United aircraft um, flying around. So you've got the, duty, the, the 2D drawing of the aircraft right there. Uh, moving on with the sides of the box, you have the 2D drawing of the aircraft, just a little smaller. See if I can focus a little better for you guys. Um, Saab 340 right there. We've also got the Gemini Jets logo. Uh, Gemini Jets logo. 2D drawing of the aircraft. Saab 340. Gemini Jets logo. And then back to the front side with the Gemini Jets logo. So now let's move on to this really um, quite small and absolutely fabulously detailed. Um, if I give you guys a closer look, you can see just how much detail Gemini has really put into um, mainly... Uh, their regional aircraft, which is just absolutely unbelievable. So, um, as you can see, just absolutely fantastic detail. And when I take you to the front, the cockpit detail, um, really nice, and especially the nose detail is absolutely fantastic. So, um, you can see right there, really nice nose detail. Uh, and also, the landing gear of that is absolutely wonderful as well. So, but I'll go uh, into more detail about that later. Um, moving on, so you've got the cockpit windows, um, windshields, you can barely see them, I, I mean the uh, the wipers um, for the windshields, you can barely see them, but um, really good detail on those as well, and absolutely fantastic detail on the color, um, Gemini's always been really good with the blue tulip livery color, um, they've really they've really done a nice shade of blue, um, which looks exactly like the blue tulip livery, and even on the Saab 340, and on regional aircraft, uh, they do the exact same amount of just wonderful detail. So, uh, moving on, right next to the cockpit, you have the Star Alliance logo. Um, next to that, you've got the, the first cabin door of the aircraft. Across uh, on the top of the windows, you have the United Express logo um, in the blue chill livery colors. Uh, then you also have some windows scattered across and the overhead wing exit door. Um, and especially, there's also really nice details on the over wing, uh, overhead wing exits as well. Um, really great details on the wings of the aircraft. Excellent detail on the wings, actually. Um, and especially the, the turboprop propellers. Absolutely fantastic detail on those, um, which is just absolutely amazing and really, really nice. So I'm glad Gemini's done that um, with, with this just spectacular model. Uh, moving on, you have some windows. Moving back to the very rear of the aircraft where you have just one giant luggage door where all the luggage of the aircraft and passengers, um, checked in luggage, obviously, just go into the very back of the aircraft, um, which is, in my opinion, sort of a good idea, um, which some aircraft do. 
The, I know the Bombardier Q400 does, and that's about the only passenger aircraft I know. And, you know, now the, the Saab 340 does it, so mainly regional aircraft do that, um, which is it's kind of a great idea. Just have all the luggage uh, with one luggage store, so um, it's a little easier. And uh, then you have the registration. Let me see if I can focus a little more for you guys. I just, my camera's not, maybe I've gone a little too far. Yeah, there you go. I've got the registration right here uh, with the United States flag. Next to that on the right is the registration N19. 6CJ. Uh, um, so that's registration for the aircraft. And then you have the beautiful tail fins, um, which really do rise up a bit. Um, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be with the model or if that's a problem with the shipping, but I'm not sure. I guess um, I guess that's just what happens. Um, I'm not sure of exactly what the Saab 340 tail fins do look like, if, if that's what they do look like. But, you know, in my opinion, when I first got them all, I thought that was a little high, but... Um, I haven't moved it or anything, because I'm not exactly sure if that's how high they're supposed to be. So, um, yeah. Moving on, you have the beautiful tail of the Blue Tube livery. Um, absolutely unbeatable. Uh, it's, it's obviously a beautiful tail. Um, I, I really cannot get over that. It's just a beautiful tail on all aircraft of United Airlines and United Express. So, um, really good detail on basically every part of the aircraft. Uh, as I said before, just the size of the aircraft... And how much detail really goes into this aircraft is just absolutely unbeatable. So really great detail on the aircraft, and I definitely 100% recommend it. Um, even if it's in in the blue shirt livery colors, I would still most likely get it. As I told you before, there's definitely plenty of aircraft um, flying around the globe in this blue shirt livery. So definitely 100% recommend it, guys. And yeah. So now um, after that review, so now I'm going to talk to you guys about my model airport plans. So, the model airport, it's going to be based, it's going to be a combination, uh, it's going to be based on a combination of, um, of four airports, and those airports are going to be Newark, Newark Liberty International, New York, JFK, Chicago, O'Hare, and then you have LAX. So, um, I'm going to have all those four airports, um, mainly, I need LAX because I have a bunch of international aircraft, um, which only mainly go, you know, airlines like Qantas, uh, and Air New Zealand, uh, I need those to fly to LAX and a few other international carriers, um, which are definitely needed, <coughs> excuse me, uh, which are definitely needed, um, which I have, and I, I really do not want to sell, so, um, I'm definitely keeping those, and that's the main reason why I have LAX. Um, for ORD Chicago O'Hare, um, I have them because I have a bunch of United aircraft, and I, my United aircraft is my favorite airline. I'm going to try and base my model airport off United Airlines, and, um, at the moment, I, I'm trying to definitely upgrade my United Airlines collection, and I, I want to be, um, the, the biggest collector of United Airlines on YouTube. Um, I've got quite a lot of United aircraft at the moment, and this is just an addition, and my United Express aircraft is really nice, and... You know, I'm still not done yet, and I, I just need um, a lot more United Aircraft, which will be coming soon. So, um, I, I definitely hope that I can get enough uh, for this model airport. Um, the way it works, the, the way it's going to be working is, it's going to be a pretty big airport because it's a combination of four different airports. Um, for JFK, the reason is because I have, I didn't want to spend all my money on a bunch of Deltas and um, Americans, so instead I would just went with JFK because... JFK is kind of a, a focus city for American and Delta, so um, they have a reasonably amount of flights going out of JFK, which is absolutely perfect for my collection, so um, that's the main reason why I have JFK. And uh, regarding the U.S. Airways and American Airlines merger, um, that's not really going to disrupt me. I Sadly, I've, uh, I've completed my U.S. Airways collection just recently, but um, yeah, I guess that I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it. Uh, when I start seeing American Airlines in the new livery, then I'll get down to business and see if I can um, sell any of my models uh, of U.S. Airways or not. But um, nothing will be happening just yet. I, I really do want to see um, some American Airlines in the new livery. And when I do, then I will definitely talk to you guys about what I'll be doing with my U.S. Airways models that are left over. So those are mainly my plans, guys. Um, the model airport is going to be... It's, it's going to be a big model airport, and... Uh, Part of about probably three quarters, maybe a little more of the airport will be built um, by me using wood materials for terminals and black card for the bottom and tarmac of of the airport, um, which is kind of similar to 
um, CBD, CVG, Delta Fly, Delta Airlines flyers um, air idea, but it's not exactly the same. Um, it's a kind of a different shape, and um, it's just a whole a, a whole different thing. So um, I think the airport at the moment it's definitely in the middle of progress, and I'll see if I can try and get a video in for you guys just to tell you guys how it's going. And um, yeah, so I thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hope you guys got enough information. If you want to ask uh, any more questions, just uh, please do either um, send me a PM or anything else. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.